This is going to be part three of how to make a simple Wordle clone in App Lab. In the first video, we set up our screens. In the second video, we figured out how to color code in green, yellow, or gray each individual letter box based on the guesses. I can show you that now. The correct answer here is codes. So if I type it correctly and hit submit, they all turn green. But if I type in the wrong word, like candy, you'll notice the C is in the correct spot. So it, it's green. Letters that are completely wrong are grayed out. And then the D is in codes, but it's in the wrong location. So that one is highlighted as yellow. What we need to do next is actually place the letters in the boxes. So we'll do that next. We're going to get a set property. We're going to put it down here. And this will be after the if statement. Because no matter what these do, we still want to put the letter in there. We're still inside the for loop. We're going to place in the letter square bracket zero position. We're going to be editing the text. And we want to set that to their guess, which should be guess square bracket i. Let's try it out. Codes. We can't figure out what letter is. What did I do wrong? Line 15. Oh, I did it again. I did this in the last video. Instead of using letters, which is the actual name of the variable of the list, I accidentally put letter. Let's try it again. Codes. Only the S popped up. Well, that's a location problem, isn't it? Let's do that the very first thing we do. Oh, it doesn't matter where it is. It matters that I put a zero in there instead of an I. All right. Codes. Okay, so the word pops up. If I do the wrong word, it's going to give me gray. Maybe light gray would work better. Yeah, that looks much better. Uh, let's try to find one that has yellow. Let's do deuce. Okay, so now we have the letters in the boxes properly and the colors are still working. The next thing I'd like to do is I would like to have a list of all the letters that I've guessed down here. All right, so to do that, I need to go back to design mode. I haven't done that since the first video. And we're going to add a label down here. Let's make it big enough to fit. It's going to take up all the extra space there. And we're going to call this already guessed. I've got an underscore there. That's the ID. And now for the text, I'm going to have it start with guessed letters colon. So when we run it, that's what we're going to see. And now what we need to do is after every time that they submit the button, we're going to add whatever letters they typed here down here so you'll have an idea of what you've already guessed. So uh, first let's make a variable called guessed letters. And at the beginning there aren't any so we'll just set it to nothing. Actually this is going to need to be an array so let's put square brackets around it. Okay so now we have a place to put it right and then what we need to do is every time they click we need to add to this list. So what we'll do is as soon as they hit click, we're going to say, is a pin in here? Sometimes I can't remember. We're going to append an item. That just means add on to the end. So the name of the list is called guest letters. It's currently empty. And then uh, we want to guess. Actually, let's put this in the for loop. Because we want to guess all the letters. And we're just going to put... Uh, guess array square bracket i. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I've got this empty array, this empty list of letters called guess letters. And as soon as they hit click, uh, I'm going to take all the guess letters and put them from guess array into guess letters. I'm going to append, so add on the end of that list. And then what I need to do is down here at the end, I need to set the property of this bottom thing whose name I cannot recall. Let's go look at what we called it. It's called already guessed. Okay. So we're going to set already guessed. I'll just choose it from the list. I'll set already guessed text to 
the guest letters list. Let's try that. So if I guess uh, plank, I've got a big bunch of warnings. Oh, here, let's do this guest letters dot to string. Using plank again. And now you can see down here underneath you're getting plank. And if I guess another thing, like this time I'm going to do uh, Zelda, it's going to add that to the list down there. So now I have a list of all the letters that I'm using uh, down there at the bottom. Okay, so that part's working. We're going to go ahead and call this video three. In the next one, we're going to add a win screen or like a you. You solved it screen, and we're going to figure out a way to count how many times they had to guess to get there. Stay tuned.